Hey guys, this is MA Fish Guy doing a video on how to breed the tomato clownfish. Uh, these guys are real hardy. When it comes to clownfish, they're a little bit easier than the um, Perculas or the Clarkies, anything like that. If you want a pretty easy clownfish to breed, then I would definitely go with the tomato. They're a little bit, like I said, the hardiest of pretty much all the clowns. They take to the anemones very well, as you can see. That's the newest one I just got, which will most likely be the female. I have a juvenile guy over here. You can tell by that little white dash on his back that that's the, uh, the juvenile. The best way to do this is to have two juveniles or even four to six juveniles and kind of let them pair off by themselves. Once they do pair off though, you do want to separate them into their own habitats with either an anemone, corals, anything like that that they can host. Once they feel secure, usually by the anemone, or what they think is an anemone, they'll usually start laying the eggs. But like I said, it's very, very um, important to make sure that they feel secure in the tank and that they're getting well fed. So like I said, the biggest one usually becomes the female because they are hermaphrodites. They will change to the different genders. And even if a female dies off, the next biggest one in the pecking order will become the female. And these guys right here, they're actually relatively small because they do get about four to five inches when they are full grown. Uh, but in an aquarium, you're only looking about maybe three to three and a half inches just because they don't have the proper grow out. With these guys being in the nano tank, they're probably not going to get real big until I move them into the 55 gallon. Uh, but once they're there, they'll probably shoot up real quick. With tank bread, it's the easiest one to get and usually the one that you want to get just because they are hardier than the wild ones that you can, you know, wild caught in the ocean. And they end to, tend to take to the tank better. The wild ones do take to the anemones better, but what you can do with these guys, and what I did for my clowns, and it worked awesome, I took a picture of a clown fish actually in the anemone and actually taped it right to the side of the aquarium and left it there for about a week. Within a week, he was in the um, an enemy no problem. Once I put this new guy in right here, within a day he was already in it just because he saw the other tomato in it. But with these guys, like I said, you want to divide them off into the pairs. The water conditions usually about 78 is the breeding temperature and the pH you want about 8.1 to 8.3. But that's usually what you're going to be keeping it at anyways when it's in the aquarium with the salt water. Salinity you want to keep about 1.023 which is what you normally would keep it at anyways for any kind of fish but with these guys when they breed they breed on like a flat surface uh, usually next to the anemone or whatever they're hosting so I have quite a few flat spots right there for him to breed on and after that they usually hatch within 6 to 11 days and this is when the tricky part really sets in for the, the clownfish because with the babies you want to uh, raise them in a separate tank and the diet is probably one of the most crucial and most difficult parts within the first seven days of these fish. Because what they're going to be needing to eat is actually um, rotifers. And then they'll graduate to baby brine shrimp. But with the rotifers, you want to have them eating off some kind of algae water. So you want green water and raise them in the green water. That way they're packed with the nutrients that the baby fish need. Usually after about seven to ten days you can move them up to the baby brine shrimp because they're old enough and big enough at that age to take them and with these guys once they get eating it's usually not a problem to keep them eating they are real aggressive eaters uh, they'll eat and eat and eat these guys will eat three times a day for me which is great when it comes to breeding uh, that way i can get them in kind of into condition real quick so if you have any questions comments um, on these guys Put it in the comments below if you want me to do another video on a different fish. Put it down below and check out mafishguide.com. And also with these guys, you want them usually in a 30 to a 40 gallon tank. Like I said, these guys are in a nano tank right now, uh, but they will be upgraded into the 55 gallon eventually. Uh, hopefully just trying to get them to breed in the small tank. And then I even can just raise the babies in this tank and move them to the 55. So... Check out my other videos, subscribe, thank you for watching.